It is springtime, so we must cheer the sheep. This typically wasn't a woman's job. Men would go from farm to farm and they would offer to shear your sheep. So that's how you would get your sheep sheared. Hooter Lester sheep, typical breed that the pioneers would have had. In fact, that's the number one breed, the most popular. They had South Downs as well, but Border Lesters would get an excellent fleece for spinning and uh, you would also be able to eat them. This view here is three years old. She has lambs. It's very common for them to have twin births. What I'm going to do here first is I'll shear all this around her neck and um, we'll most likely not use it for any kind of processing. It'll probably go in the compost heap. These are the shears. Sheep have a very loose skin with a thick layer of fat underneath it, especially on these older ewes, so we don't want to cut into that. I'm going to set her up. Set her up in what's called a chair hole. With smaller sheep, you can just uh, grab them and, and sort of twist their neck up and they it sounds brutal, but you can uh, just sit them up in one sweep. These are bigger sheep, so I usually, I always hold them under the, the chin and I grab one of the back legs and I pull that out from under her like that so she'll have to sit down, just like that. So now, I haven't washed the sheep, but the pioneers commonly wash their sheep in a, in a creek, but uh, they, would, they would do this to, to clean the wool beforehand. Cleaner at least would be more marketable and uh, it would get rid of all these these tags here and the nasty bits that you don't really want in your in your fleece. Uh, it was very very laborious to put sheep in a in a creek. The other thing about washing the sheep beforehand is you'd have to wait a week in order for the fleece to fully dry because you can't really shear wet fleece. It's difficult to shear. Washing them beforehand, with the intention was to keep your shears nice and sharp so that you weren't cutting through all that debris. That yellow tinge, is a lanolin in the fleece. It's all over her body as well. And nowadays we can use that for hand cream. It makes your hands very, very soft. It's naturally produced in the sheep's fleece. If we were to spin this into wool and knit a sweater without washing it at all, we'd have a waterproof sweater. It's always nice. It might smell a bit funny though. Will your mother thank pretty Peggy Young? What will your mother thank for to hear her guineas? <laughs> I call sheep to be passive aggressive. They'll just lean on you harder and flail their legs. Uh, for us, this typically wasn't a woman's job, so you can see our outfits aren't really suitable for this kind of work. Pants would be much more convenient. Generally, this would be a man's job, but since we're here, we know how to do it, we're doing it. You never pull on the fleece like this, because you're tenting the skin, and if you cut in here now, you're gonna, get skin and you're gonna cut fleece. into the sheep. Our sheep is done, so we'll let her stand up and under the top back there. And on average, about 12 sheep for, for a family farm, for sort of their own use, that's what they kept. And, and that's sort of what we're trying to keep here. Pre-1860, before the Industrial Revolution, whatever you produced on the farm stayed on the farm for your family to be used. And then after that, we started getting the dairies, the making of cheeses, and, and all that stuff. This is where her back was. See how it's really thin here? That's where she scratched herself. This is a really good, you would use this fleece right here. And this stuff here, that's for, for compost. <laughs> These are called the tags and we would just cut them off. So we would skirt around this. So now we'll, we'll fold it up and um, it'll go to the first house. That's where the real work starts with washing and dyeing and parting and, and spinning. Right. So you can see all the dirty stuff on the outside. <laughs>
nothing to it. So how many pounds do you think we have there? Oh, I'd say for eight. Eight Ten. pounds? 